Hello YouTube, it is great to be back with you guys today and today I am actually answering a question from viewer Renee. So I'm going to read that question for you guys and then answer that. So the question from Renee, as you can probably tell from the video title, has to do with fish processing. So I'm going to read it for you guys here and let's get to it. Hey, when are you leaving for processing this season? Also, could you do another video on what it's like to go out there? Love to hear about stuff like what exactly you wear during a work shift and what the work culture was like. I'll be working at a land plant starting June and it's my first time. Would love to go as informed as possible. Thanks in advance if you decide to do another video on this topic. All right, so let's get to that a bit. Um, so first of all, um, I will not be going to um, work in fish processing this year. I actually just recently left the industry about um, actually under a month ago, um, but I will uh, answer some of these. So I have worked at a land plant, um, spent majority of my time at uh, one land plant, and then I also worked on two processing vessels. Um, so I will uh, answer some of your questions on this. So first of all, congrats on um, going to a land plant this summer. I hope you have a great time. Um, it's a fun seasonal job, summer job to have. Um, and most of all, uh, what I would say is it's a really great experience. You know, summer experience, um, you get to experience Alaska. That was my, the first time I came up here, that was absolutely 100% my favorite part about the job was um, experiencing a new place, um, vastly different from anything, well, vastly different from most of the things I'd ever experienced before. Um, so yeah, just the opportunity to travel to a new, um, unique location and to experience it for a long period of time. To me, that was the, the best perk of the job, the most enjoyable part of the job. So, um, also it's cool, you know, it's just a three, you know, probably I'm assuming you have like a three month contract or something like that. So that's kind of cool too, you know, you go there, you put in your three months and, uh, you know, it's just, it's kind of cool that it's just a seasonal thing also. Um, so yeah, what it's like to go out there, I would say that's the main thing. It's just exciting to go to a new place, um, with new people. There's always new people in the plants, um, because it is seasonal and, you know, there's just all sorts of people from all over the place constantly going through there. So, um, as far as what's the work culture like, you know, that is, um, part of it, all the different people from different places. Um, so yeah, you will be working long hours, uh, most likely seven days a week. But again, since it's such a short contract, most likely that you signed, that makes it um, pretty much okay. The work culture is most likely, it depends on uh, what position you go into when you get there, but most likely it will be pretty fast paced. You know, it's a mass production, so typically it does move pretty fast. Um, it's kind of just one of those things, you go somewhere, it's a new experience, you're there for, you know, a few months and you just work, you know, you work for those few months and then you go. So, um, when you're there, you do definitely put in your time and your, your energy and all that. But there is, uh, definitely the potential to make some pretty, um, unique friends, friendships. Um, you know, you're living where you work, so you will get pretty close to the people you work with, which can be a pro and a con. Um, but given the unique situation, um, there is a pretty high likelihood that you will make, you know, some pretty strong friendships, possibly, you know, maybe a couple, a couple strong friendships because you're living and working with people for three months straight, you know, so, um, that's definitely a cool aspect of the job. So what did you wear during a work shift? Um, pretty much sweats, sweatpants, sweatshirts, sweatpants, you know, something like that. Um, something simple, basic, easy to clean, um, something you don't really mind the um, possibility of getting dirty, something like that. Um, so, and then the place you work will most likely provide boots for you. So boots and uh, rain gear. So whatever you wear is gonna be worn um, under the rain gear. Um, again, sweatpants, so you'll throw a rain jacket, rain bibs, whatever on top of that. Sweatpants type of stuff is, um, really what I would recommend. It's super comfortable. Again, you know, easy to clean. You're not super worried about it. You don't want to wear something fancy or, 
you know, restricting or anything like that. You want to be comfortable, able to move, and not worry about getting your clothes dirty. I definitely recommend, you know, in case you have any downtime, um, I can't tell you whether or not you'll have Wi-Fi. Maybe that's something you'll know. Um, you're going soon, so that's exciting. Um, have fun. And to any of the others watching, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of people watching who are in the same boat. Um, but yeah, I would really recommend bringing, like, um, in case there's no Wi-Fi or limited Wi-Fi, bring like a laptop or an iPad or something like that that has uh, movies downloaded, you know, your favorites, maybe some you haven't seen. Um, bring some books that you want to read, you know, stuff like that. Bring some offline activities, um, if you will, just in case you do have some downtime and you need something to do. Uh, you could bring like some games, you know, like if you want to hang out with your coworkers or something like that, you know, if you have any downtime. So yeah, each plant is um, a bit different, but I can tell you from my experience, um, some pointers for you. So that's about all that I have. Um, please click the thumbs up as always. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that red subscribe button. And if you have any questions, please comment them down below. I will do my best to get to them as always. Um, and anyways, everyone have a great summer. Have a great year. See you later. Again, if you have any recommendations for videos for me to make, leave that down below or on any of my other videos, I will see your comment. Um, I'm always, I love to get ideas on videos that you guys want to hear. So thank you so much. Have a great day and see you later. Peace out.